When did Liz become so clueless? She's always been clueless. She's from the Midwest. Well, Minnesota. That's the Midwest. It's not Iowa. No, no, it's not Iowa. It's not Ohio. Okay, it's not Ohio. It's not like it's- Are we gonna go through every state that is not? I mean, it's pretty far north to be considered the Midwest. Camping. What is she thinking? Do you think we should call the police? And say what? We think maybe he did it. They think he did it. They brought him in for questioning. They're measuring his shoes. We can't let Amanda go off with that man. How do we stop her? Maybe it will rain? Rain doesn't stop a serial killer. It might stop him from camping. Obstacles just excite men. Is that true? Delay gratification. But that didn't work for Daniel. What didn't? Obstacles. They just distracted him. A baby crying, a dog at the door. That's because he's gay, Mary. He wasn't gay yet. Mm. What if we talk to Amanda? She's got a good head on her shoulders. No, she doesn't. Her SATs were in the single digits. Joe, I'm just saying, she's not the brightest girl. She doesn't have to be with those breasts. I don't think I ever had breasts like that. We didn't have breasts like that in the 80s. It's all the hormones in the milk. We have to get her alone somehow. Say you need to borrow a bunt pan. I already have a bunt pan. You're making a coffee cake, and you need to borrow a butt pen. Could Amanda bring it over? She's always loved my coffee cake. <laughs> well, tell Amanda we think it's great her mother's happy, and we couldn't be happier about her happiness. We all agree that happiness is great. But then we question whether Liz's happiness is really happiness, and we encourage Amanda to share her own misgivings. Your mother comes home with Jackson, you gotta have some misgivings, right? Going from Jim to Jackson? Please, I loved Jim. I did too. Why don't we just tell Amanda we think Jackson's the killer? What if she tells Liz? Liz will never speak to us again. Okay, we'll go step by step. First, we get Amanda out of that camping trip. Then we undermine the, the relationship. We save Liz from the relationship. We give Amanda permission to be a pain in the ass. Oh, she's our secret weapon. <sighs> there she is. So, what do you think? It doesn't matter what we think, it matters what you think. Doesn't he look a little like Christopher Walken? Oh my God, he does. He so does. When Jim left, I felt like my life was over. And now look, I have a lover. Of course it's not over. All, the, all this time I thought Jim was so perfect, when all along there was someone even better out there. But so nice, Jim. So sane. Wait. Now you like Jim? We're not defending his behavior. He leaves me for some soprano after three years of lying to my face. But from our perspective, just to have dinner with. I know, Jackson's awkward. Uh, no. <laughs> but think about the zebras. What thing? It's just, he's out there, you know. His sense of humor, he is just so out there. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I totally understand if you don't get him, but you will. <laughs> His hygienists love him. Oh? Love him. It's a very successful practice. I mean, let's face it, a dentist mm, is... Not the most exciting. A doctor. A dentist is a doctor. <laughs> Women are always desperate to marry doctors. Why not dentists? They're doctors who work regular hours. I said to him, I said, Jackson, why did you never marry? Why weren't you snatched up? You who were so successful and sexy and funny. <laughs> did he always want to be a dentist? He likes to fix things. Oh, right. He wants to get in there and fix things. He loves the tools, he loves the teeth. He said that to me. I love the teeth. 
You must have noticed how my body's changing. Uh, well, of course it is. All our bodies are changing. My hair is shinier. My lips are plumper. I'm lubricated. <laughs> my hips swivel when I walk. You can actually feel the heat coming off me. Well, that happens to a lot of women our age. There has been a renaissance of my nether parts. My desire has grown so fierce that I can't think of anything else. Sometimes, Jackson and I actually weep together over the years we spent apart. When I was just one of those dateless, divorced women in sensible shoes doing fun runs and book clubs. But Liz, we are the divorced women doing fun runs and going and doing book clubs. <gasps> Don't give up hope, girls. Your Jackson is out there somewhere. <laughs>